so we are on round three of the 2024 uh, Pace NSC. Uh, in this round, we have Carbondale on my left and Detroit Catholic Central C on my right. Um, let's do a quick buzzer check and you can also say your name. Uh, Dylan. Theodore. Daniel. Ryan. Christian. Joseph. Sophic. Brady. Yep. Surprisingly, that's the first boy we've seen today. I expect there to be more, but. Yeah, Illinois mascot. Yeah. Okay. It's the small one. Uh, so I'm your moderator, Mike Bentley. Um, I think that we are probably ready to get started. Let me just double check. Um, yeah, is everyone ready? All right, here's test one. Eye coals are intermittently closed to sources of high values for this quantity. The viral shunt recycles organic matters in systems with high values for this abiotic quantity. Densities characterize the Guyven Hertzberg relations description of intrusion by components with high values for this quantity, which may take the form of wedges that go against the flow. Systems characterized by intermediate values of this quantity can prevent its increase by being bar built. Estuaries feature gradients of this quantity that increase towards salinity. That's right, yes, for 10. Bones for Carbondale, an early group of these people sat in a shop front and judged the attire of passerby in what the Duke of Wellington caused a mysterious and terrifying tribunal. For 10 points each, name this archetype exemplified by Beau Brummel, who claimed to take five hours to dress each morning. Slow guy. No. Turtle. Answer? Turtle. Uh, these are dandies. A Bertram P. Matthews play about Brummel is best remembered for the incidental music composed by this British composer of the Pop and Circumstances marches. Okay. Okay. That's right. San Francisco rock band the Bo Brummels had some of their songs produced by this artist, notorious for arriving late to concerts. This band's integrated band recorded the 1971 album There's a Riot Going On. This man, uh, Mercury. Jefferson Starship. Answer. Jefferson Starship. Oh, this is Sly Stone or Jeff Stone? Stone. Stone. Or Sly and Family Stone, rather. Uh, that's 10 points. Toss it. <clears throat> uh, an ode by this poet asks a city, what angel is hidden in your cheek? A poem by this author declares the dove and the leopard fought and a boy brought the white sheet. Another poem by this author describes the ship out on the sea and the horse on the mountain and a woman with eyes of cold silver dreaming on her balcony. This author of a poet in New York declares green, how I want you green. Um, uh, Lorca, Garcia Lorca. That's right, yes, for 10. Was for DCC. Long-term administration of asthma medications like uh, prednisone is an uh, atrogenic cause of this disease. For 10 points each, name this endocrine disorder that's more often caused by adrenal tumors that overproduce an immunosuppressive steroid hormone. Answer. This Cushing syndrome. The most common cancer that causes Cushing's is a benign tumor in this gland at the base of the brain since it releases the ACTH that stimulates cortisol production. That's right. Oddly, ectopic tumors of this non-endocrine organ may secrete ACTH and cause Cushing's disease. Malignant carcinomas in this organ are classified with labels small cell or non-small cell and can be caused by silicosis. Kidney. Uh, so the lungs, 10 points. Toss a three. One of these objects turns back time when reverting arrows to cane breaks and burns. A text name for one of these objects coined the maxim, as above, so below. The Anzu steals one of these objects from a bathing Enlil, resulting in Ninurta being sent to retrieve it. During the war to avenge Abzu, this type of object acts as Kingu's breastplate. The Philosopher's Stone is described by Hermes Trista, uh, sorry, Trismegistus as an, in an emerald text named for this type of object. Mardu claims one of these objects of destiny after slaying uh, Tiamat. The Epic, of Gilgamesh, sorry, the Epic of Gilgamesh was discovered on some of these objects taken from Ashurbanipal's. A tablet? That's right, yes. What the? 10 points. Bonus. This man allegedly yelled, do not disturb my circles upon being confronted by a Roman soldier. For 10 points each, name this mathematician who was killed while studying geometry. He supposedly shouted Eureka after discovering his law of buoyancy. Archimedes. Archimedes was killed during the Roman siege of this city during the Second Punic War. Prior to the Second Punic War, the city in Magna Graecia was ruled by tyrants like Agathocles and Hieronymus. Syracuse. That's right. 
Uh, the desecration of these sacred statues was considered a bad omen prior to Athens' attempted siege of Syracuse. Alcibiades was accused of mutilating the genitalia on these statues prior to the expedition. Hermes statues? Say it again. Hermes statues. No, uh, these are Hermi or Herm or Herma. Okay. Yes. Yes, I will note that. Um, three Hermes statues. They are statues of Hermes that should be accepted. I'm just adding that in the notes here, but if you can file the actual protest there. Great. Okay. Uh, so that is 20 points for now with 10 points in protest, and that moves us to toss up number four. Uh, people suffering from this disease were treated by the Australian bush nurse, Sister Kenny. Over 200,000 pioneers received a placebo as part of a nationwide trial of a treatment for this disease developed at the University of Pittsburgh. 44 people were infected by this disease due to faulty practices from Berkeley's Cutter Labs. Dr. Hart E. Van Ripper warned against this disease's spread at certain summer camps. A cure for this disease was the original aim of the charity March of Dimes. Polio. Oh, yeah. That's right for 10. Uh, bonus three. Yeah. Uh, bonus. This artist took offense at Bruno Alfieri's description of his creative process in time, sending a telegraph to the magazine stating, No chaos, damn it, for 10 points each. In this artist, who was mentored on breaking free from the strictures of his teacher Thomas Hart Benton by printmaker Stanley William Hater. This alcoholic artist died in a car crash aged 44. Sure. Answer. Well. As Jackson Pollock, in the 1990s, conservators at MoMA unsuccessfully tried to recreate Pollock paintings by studying the films this German-American photographer made of Pollock at work. Dolly. <laughs> Answer. Dolly. As Hans Namath. Pollock was a central figure in this modern art movement, which was championed by the critic Clement Greenberg. Expressionism? Abstract. Abstract expressionism. That's right, pretend. Good. Tell us five. Uh, an ancient type of these instruments employed in gaguku ensembles had a size of 1.8 namesake units and was adapted from the Chinese uh, shayao. The third movement of the Yellow River Piano Concerto begins with a solo for one of these instruments whose thin membranes give it a distinctive buzzing sound. Unlike the diza, the uh, shakuhachi is an end-blown type of these instruments. They're not clarinets, but Theobald Bohm developed the key system for this instrument's Western concert type. The vessel type of these instruments is exemplified by the ocarina. Many flute. That's right for ten. Those yes. for Carbondale. Uh, Molly Fancher was dubbed the Brooklyn Enigma for her ESP-like ability to read without sight while engaged in an extreme form of this practice. For 10 points each, name this practice, whose namesake Victorian-era girls developed supernatural powers. A holy miraculous disorder is characterized by this practice performed by many religious women, including St. Catherine of Siena. Miracles? Or like witchcraft? Saint miracles. miracles. Answer? Miracles. miracles. Uh, this is fasting. Uh, saints like St. Catherine survived years of fasting solely by consuming this substance, which uh, through communion becomes Christ's body. Bread. 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 Uh, yes. Uh, fasting girls could manifest these features on their bodies that correspond to Christ's wounds. Padre Pio and St. Francis also developed these marks. Fasting girls. Answer. Scars. Uh, these are stigmata, 10 points. Tell us six. Uh, deriving the electromagnetic wave equation involves the successive application of this statement and a similar statement that features a negative term. Taking the curl of a curl in an equation derived from the biot savert law yields this statement under the magnetostatic approximation. A term equal to the change in the electric displacement field over time was added to this statement by Maxwell. This statement uh, equates J sub F plus D capital D D T with the curl of the H field. This statement relates the line integral along a curve through a magnetic field to its enclosed electric current. Put up points. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, 
identify this law in Maxwell's equations that was devised by the namesake of the SI unit of electric current. Joule's law? Uh, it's Ampere's law. Mm -hmm. Toss up seven. Boethius defends the possibility of this property by analogizing God's timelessness to the view from a mountain. Molinism holds that this property is possible because God has a middle knowledge of counterfactuals. A theodicy named for this property argues that agents with this property are the source of evil, not God. Uh, Harry Frankfurt's cases are counterexamples to the PAP, which states that a strong conception of this property is necessary for moral responsibility. Theological fatalism argues that humans lack this property due to God's infallible foreknowledge of our future. Pretty well. That's right. Yes. And that was 10 points. Bonus. Uh, in a play, a character with a surname states, history is about to crack wide open. Millennium approaches. For 10 points each, give the surname of a ghost who tells Roy Cohn that he uh, has been disbarred while on his deathbed. Sylvia Plath's The Bell Jar opens during the queer, sultry summer when a couple with a surname were electrocuted. Rosenberg. Yeah. Yeah. Rosen yeah. Yeah. Rosenberg. Yeah. Uh, the ghost of Ethel Rosenberg appears in this Tony Kushner play in which prior Walter Angels falls ill. Yeah. Angels in America. Yeah. Angels in America. Yes. Yeah. Uh, this author fictionalized the children of the Rosenbergs seeking justice in his novel, The Book of Daniel. The pianist Cole House Walker is terrorized by racist firemen in a novel by this author. <laughs> Answer. Uh, Harper Lee. It's Gail Doctorow. It's 20 points. Toss of eight. Peter Hessler's book, The Buried, profiles this city's informal Zabaline garbage collectors. In the 1920s, a houseboat in the city's Kit Kat neighborhood, owned by Diva Monira Almadia, hosted cabinet meetings. Overcrowding in the city has spurred one government to build the iconic tower in a new planned city called the New Administrative Capital. Many of the city's embassies are located. Cairo? That's right, for power. Gotcha. Bonus. Verbal prods such as you must go on encourage experiments uh, participants to deliver this stimulus to a person complaining of heart pains. For 10 points each, name the stimulus that participants believe were administering as punishment in the Milgram obedience experiment. Shock. Yes. Uh, dogs laid down and accepted shocks in a study by Martin Seligman that coined the two-word term for this condition in which people uh, faced with repeated aversive stimuli stop resisting due to lack of control. Learned helplessness. Yes. Uh, periorbital shocks may be used to induce this reflex in a form of classical conditioning used to study motor learnings. Uh, John Keyes and Colzato have linked the spontaneous rate of this reflex to dopamine activity. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Laughing. Laughing. Uh, say it again. Laughing. Laughing. Blinking. Oh, okay. That was a good guess. That was a good guess. Uh, Toss nine. In 2018, a statue of this person was discovered in the ruins of a harbor at Berniki in Egypt. Attempts to date this person's life include a dotted chronology, which is based on the five patriarchs, and a corrected long chronology based on rock carvings. In 1998, the LTTE attacked a building housing this person's left canine tooth. After stopping the sacrifice of goats, this person befriended King Bimbasara of Magadha. A red sandstone statue of this person at Lashan is the tallest pre-modern statue in the world. This person, who was born in Bumbini as a member of the Shakya clan, had his body parts enshrined in stupas. Printed points, name this prince who taught the Eightfold Path after... Buddha. Yes. That's right. Ten, and bonus for the CC. Okay. Uh, Emperor Gaozu stopped ripping off these people's hats and peeing in them after Lu Jia outlined how he should rule in the new discourses. For 10 points each, name these people who typically wore the Liang Guan crown. The phrase uh, Feng Shu Kingru describes how Qin Shi Wang would burn books and bury these people alive. Soldiers. Answer? Scholars. Yes. Uh, Lu criticized the Qin for failing to peacefully unify all under this place, thus failing to achieve a mandate to rule name for this place. Heaven. Heaven. Yes. Yeah. Uh, description acceptable. Lu convinced Gaozu that he could not rule in this physical manner. At the end of Ogadai's conquests, Ye Lu Shukai told the warlord not to rule in this physical manner and instead create a civil government. By force. Yeah. By force. Say again? By force. 
Uh, no, it's by horse. Oh. Uh, from horse. I can't rule from horseback. Uh, toss of ten. Uh, Kirill Eskov's alternate sequel to one of this author's novels describes Haladin's journey to liberate humanity by destroying a mirror. This author's book of lost tales describes the destruction of two. Tolkien. That's right for power. Oh, yes. Yes, I did. Notice in a work by this author, the tramp Luca briefly brings hope to Vasca, but disappears after Vasca kills the landlord. Uh, Costa Yoff for 10 points each. Name this author who depicted a destitute boarding house residents in his play The Lower Depths. Um, oh, check off. Uh, this is Gorky. Gorky's novel The Spy, the story of a superfluous man, uses a term popularized by this man's novella, The Diary of a Superfluous Man. This author wrote Fathers and Sons. Uh, Turgenev? Yes. Uh, the Lower Depths ends with a character with this title informing the boarding house of the actor's suicide. Rudolf Eric uh, Rasps created a character with this title and the name Munchausen, whose exploits include riding a cannonball. Um, I want to say Tsar. Tsar? Uh, Baron, 10 points. Uh, all right, that is the half. Um, I have a score of Carmendale 90, DCCC 150. All right, is everyone ready for test blowing? Yes. All right, here we go. An Italian pioneer of this technology gave rise to a trend for Lunardi skirts in England. Enthusiasm for this technology in France diminished after a 1785 accident that killed Jean-Francois Pletra de Rosier. It's not the telegraph, but a corps that uses technology to gather intelligence that the Battle of Antietam was led by Thaddeus S.C. Lowe. This technology powered bombs that killed six people in Bly, Oregon in the only fatal Fugo long-distance attack during World War II. In France, this technology was pioneered by the Montgolfier brothers and later used by Leon Gambetta to escape the Siege of Paris. For Empoisemus technology that... Balloons? That's right, yes. Yeah. Ten points. Bonus, between 2019 and 2023, a campaign in Bangladesh against the adulteration of turmeric with uh, the lead salt of this ion probably saved 100,000 children's lives. For 10 points each, name this toxic inorganic ion, which is widely used to dye turmeric because of its vivid yellow color. Saffron. Answer? Saffron. Chromate. Uh, turmeric, I- er, uh, sorry. turmeric is often adulterated <laughs> with Metanyl yellow, which is normally used as one of these chemicals. Uh, phenolphthalein is another of these chemicals that change color at the endpoint of a titration. Indicator. That's right. Uh, Metanyl yellow can be detected by adding hydrochloric acid, which turns the fake turmeric this color. Uh, phenolphthalein turns this color in base purple. Yes. Perfect. 20 points. Toss 12. A player of this instrument composed Davenport Blues and played an influential solo on the Trumbauer Orchestra's version of Singing the Blues. The leader of ODJB and the Creole Jazz Band played this instrument, the smallest to use a device named for Patty Harmon. This instrument plays an 11 second cadenza at the start of West End Blues. Trumpet? That's right, for power. Bonus, answer the following about Republican state legislators preempting local laws for 10 points each. Many local ordinances from Democratic cities in this state were squashed by a 2023 Death Star bill signed by Governor Greg Abbott. Texas. 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 Yeah. In 2023, Republicans in this southern state seized control of the airport board in its capital. Flamethrower wielding Congressman Andy Ogles represents this state, as does Senator Marsha Blackburn. Oh, Tennessee. Oh, Tennessee, that's it. Tennessee. In 2022, one of these policies in Columbus was preempted with Ohio's HB 430. One of these policies in St. Paul, enacted in 2022, set a max annual change of 3% and dramatically reduced demand for new construction permits. Um, change of 3%? Like a zoning law? Yeah. 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 Answer? Zoning law? Uh, no, these are rent control policies. 20 points. Toss of 13. The simultaneous cross section of two of these particles is measured in units named for Maria Gopert Meyer. Silicon quantum dots are sources of these particles. Marvin Minsky invented a device that fires these particles at planes through a pinhole to minimize the point spread function. Bleaching and quenching reduce these particles' quantum efficiency so they're harder to detect with CDs. In super resolution techniques, these particles measure distances shorter than the 100 nanometer Abbe limit. Halogens react with tungsten filaments to provide these particles which are absorbed and then re-emitted when a molecule fluoresces. Photons? Yes. Good job. Good job, Zach. 
Bonus, in 1973, per inflow, won a live goose for giving an example of a normed vector space with this property, but not the approximation property. For points each, name this property, which is weaker than compactness. The knock spaces possess this property of spaces in which all Cauchy sequences converge. Yeah, sure. Infinite. Answer. Uh, this is completeness. Uh, in 2023, Inflow published a generalization of the solution to the invariant subspace problem to complete inner product spaces. What's your name for this mathematician? This mathematician gave an example in which guests can be moved up one room infinitely many times. Uh, this is David Hilbert. Hilbert's hotel illustrates this set of integers denoted with a double struck N. Binary. Uh, the natural numbers, no points there. Um, 14. Uh, in a Goan celebration of this type, a copper pot and a green or saffron brocade are erected on bamboo poles and decorated with sugar crystals and mango leaves. Super soakers are used during various mid-April water festivals coinciding with this type of celebration, as exemplified by the National Thai holiday of Song Kran. Uh, Samanu is one of seven foods placed on haft sin tables during this type of celebration, which begins following uh, Chahar Shan Ve Sure and uh, its bonfire jumping tradition. Nauru's is this type of celebration. During one of these celebrations, children receive red envelopes of cash. Like New Year's? Uh, I guess 10 points. Bonus. This photographer's first solo exhibition depicted the Boston transgender community in work such as Ivy wearing a fall Boston for 10 points each day of photographer. They depicted New York City's no wave subculture and the ballad of sexual dependency. No answer. This is Nan Golden. Golden's depiction of marginalized people in the ballad of sexual dependency drew upon the work of this photographer, whose works include identical twins, Rosell, New Jersey, and an image of the Jewish giant, Eddie Carmel. Answer. Stieglitz. Diane Arbus. The Ballad of Sexual Dependency was originally conceived as a slideshow exhibition, partly set to music by the Velvet Underground, which was once managed by this artist, whose studio was known as The Factory. Warhol. Ten points. Oh. Plus fifteen. John Woodbridge. Sorry, John Woodbridge published a collection of poten a collection potentially without this author's knowledge that includes a poem addressed to a dear mother, fairest queen. This author described how the strong foundation of Proud Babel supported the Assyrian Empire in the first section of the long poem, The Four Monarchies. This author bids adieu to all vanity in a poem describing how my pleasant things in ashes lie. Love is valued over whole mines of gold and all the riches the East is doth. Talisman? No, sorry. Doth hold in a poem that this author opened, if ever two were one, then surely we, and addressed to her dear and loving husband. The one's name is Colonial Poet of the Tenth Muse, lately sprung up in America. Brad Street. That's right. Yes. Most for DCC, a speaker with this occupation promises his love interest fair lined slippers for the cold with buckles of purest gold. For 10 points each, name's occupation. In a poem later parodied by Walter Rowley, a speaker with this occupation opens with the line, come live with me and be my love. Answer. Poet. Uh, Shepherd. Edmund oh. Spencer's 12 part poem, The Shepherd's Calendar, echoed the echologues of this Latin author who also wrote the Aeneid. Uh, Virgil. Yeah. Uh, this author depicted Doris, who disguises himself as a shepherd to woo Pamela in The Countess of Pembroke's Arcadia. This author described the moon's sad steps in a 31st poem of a sonnet sequence. Uh, Petrarch. Uh, it's Philip Sidney, 10 points. Okay. Sorry. Tell us uh, 16. A 700 gigapixel image of this painting was published after a live streamed restoration of it was completed under the leadership of Taco Dibbets in 2020. In 1975, a teacher slashed this painting, damaging a depiction of a man in it wearing yellow. A shield in this painting lists 18 men who are represented elsewhere by a pistol called a clover. To fit into a city hall in 1715, this painting had its edges trimmed, damaging a drummer who appears in front of a dog. The removal of a dark varnish from this painting illuminated a blue and yellow flag and a girl carrying I watch. That's right. For nice. Nice. Bonus. Sabine Hosfender's book, Lost in This Field, discusses how its beauty leads physics astray. For 10 points each, name this general field whose advancements include Newton's development of calculus. Uh, 
mathematics. That's right. In his lecture on the principle of least action, Feynman motivates this field with a new kind of problem. This field of calculus finds paths corresponding to extreme values with tools like the Euler-Lagrange equation and the Beltrami identity. Differentiation. Uh, calculus of variations. Calculus of variations is used to minimize the time integral of the Lagrangian, which is the Legendre transform of this quantity. This quantity equals the total energy in a system. Entropy. Entropy. Hamiltonian, 10 points. Toss up 17. Organisms with this trait synthesize a properly sli a spliced transcript of the transformer gene by expressing the X, uh, sorry, S XL protein. Wolbachia infection uh, drives up the number of mosquitoes that possess this trait since only they are diploid. In mammals with this trait, dosage compensation is controlled by two long non-coding RNAs that coat DNA called T6 and Xist. Only Drosophila with this trait uh, can be heterozygous for eye color. Female? Yes. Nice. Temples. Bonus. Crumbling walls in mysterious fires are blamed on one of these beings in the Omani oasis of Bala. For 10 points each, name these beings that may inhabit their eponymous blocks near uh, Petra. Mental illness is sometimes attributed to possession by these beings of smokeless fire. Yokai? Uh, these are jinn. Many Egyptians oh, attribute jinn attacks as the cause of this action's namesake paralysis, which is also induced by the night hag and mare in Germanic lore. Yes, uh, both sleep paralysis and suns are attributed to the demonic uh, Batavat of this nation. In the 1950s, CIA agents in this country faked a string of vampiric Aswang attacks to frighten off insurgents. Answer? Nicaragua. The uh, Philippines, ten points. Oh. Toss up 18. During a renaissance in the city, Anton Koberger printed an encyclopedic chronicle. It's not Aachen, but the Golden Bull of 1356 granted this city the right to host the first diet of a Holy Roman Emperor. Much later, 152 anti-aircraft searchlights were used to make a cathedral of light in this city. A speech given in the city by Julius Stryker to an audience of 700,000 appears in a propaganda film by a woman who later... Berlin. No. Directed Olympia. Some subsequent events in this city concern the makers of Zyklon B. Robert H. Jackson represented U.S. interests at an event in this city's Palace of Justice to sentence Hermann Goering to death. Remember by saying this German city that hosted a series of Nazi war trials? Nuremberg. That's right, for 10. Bonus. In January 2024, Stefan Rosten revealed LiDAR scans of road networks covered by the Amazon jungle in this country's Upano Valley for 10 points each. In this modern-day country, where conquistador Diego de Almagro founded its capital of Quito. Ecuador. Uh, Cacheros in this industry exploited indigenous Ecuadorians in the Amazon. The PAC's abuses in this industry in Peru were chronicled by Roger Casement, who also wrote about abuses in this industry in Africa. Yes, uh, the Waironi people have sued this U.S. company for dumping 18 billion uh, gallons of waste in the Ecuadorian Amazon. A doctorate name for this company upheld the EPA's ability to interpret legislation. Answer? Shell. Uh, Chevron. That's 20 points. And we're on toss of 19. In a play by this author, Jackie Croyton interrupts a game of adverbs only trades. The central family of that play by this author likes to act out a scene from Love's Whirlwind. In another play by this author, a woman passes out and is woken up with brandy before requesting that Irving Berlin's song always be played on a gramophone. In the last act of a play by this author, two couples sneak back to London after being subjected to the antics of the Bliss family. A line in Percy Shelley's To a Skylark titles a play by this author in which the ghost Elvira disrupts Charles uh, Condomine's marriage after a seance by Madame Arcati. For another point, same as British playwright of Hay Fever and Blythe Spirit. Last time, it's Noel Coward. Say that again? Uh, Noel Coward. Okay. Noel Coward. Uh, just next. Okay. And this is the last toss-up. 
the effect of homophily on the dynamics of these things is uh, studied in McPherson, Smith Lovin, and Cook's paper, Birds of a Feather. Real world examples of these things with power ball degree distributions are described as scale free. George Simmel's principle of triadic closure describes the tendency of triangular motifs to form in these things if B and C are both neighbors with A. Mark Grano. Uh, Game of Life. Uh, no, sorry. Mark Granovetter studied job applicants to identify weak ties in these things. The surprisingly low average path length in these structures, popularly just six, is called the small world phenomenon. Nodes representing individuals are connected by edges representing social connections, and for 10 points, what web-like models of social structure? Like hierarchy? Uh, no, sorry, these are social networks. Uh, and that is the end of the... All right, uh, so final, uh, correct. Uh, so final score is Carbondale 130, DCCC 300, 